just about ready to go. And today's starting pitcher, number 36. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Yeah, Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to the aim the baseball, but for some Here reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of their tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. And a pitch. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. He was all over that one. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Ozzie Albies up to the plate. And that one fouled off. And a base hit right there. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. Here's Austin Riley. That one at 95 missed up top. Two balls and a strike. And the right hander deals. Ground ball could be two. To second, there's one. Back to the pitcher covering in time. It's a double play. The 3 6 1 double play, in my opinion, is one of the toughest plays to make. You've got a pitcher covering first and the middle infielder throwing to a moving target. Everything has to be perfect, and right there, they made it look pretty easy. Here is Matt Olson. Two outs. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. For the runner at third, this is who they want at the plate. He's so good at getting a run across in these situations. Runner at third, two away. Got him swinging. That ends the frame. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there. And sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. here in San Diego and towing the slab in this one Chris Sale and singing that may be his name but the strikeout is his game well Brooke, I can tell you've been working on that one but yes you are right this guy strikeout for nine over 11 I mean that's just getting it done there are a lot of strikeouts in that other lineup and when you look at what he's able to do man it's going to be a fun one to watch today we go to the bottom of the first Luis Arise stands in and a pitch. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. Well, he just threw that fastball by him, elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Sail in a one two. Ball. And another ball. Next pitch misses outside. Three balls, two strikes. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Now one away. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. 
Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Let's take a look at the Padres lineup. They're dealing with a top-level arm of the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Oh, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you've got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat and perhaps, you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, get him moving off the mound. If you're in the box and he seems to be just in a flow, step out, mess up his timing, somehow try to get in his head a little bit, and then when he does come in the zone, you may only get one pitch. You better not miss it. Wouldn't All chase three. that time. And Singy, as a team, you need to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you, right? Absolutely. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. High bounce takes it over the fence. That's an automatic double. It's lefty matchup things not going so well. Man at second here with two away. Manny Machado, the next to hit. Sail ready. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Well, there's a chance right here for one of the better hitters on this roster to get him on the board in the first. Thanks to the three-hole hitter extending the inning. Good at bat with two outs. Rudder at second, two down. And now the lefty, and a swing and a miss. Third out. One left for San Diego, scoreless after one. Back here at Petco Park, here's Marcelo Zuna. This guy is an elite level hitter, especially considering contact, just the ability to hit for average. What you really like, though, stays in against those righties, and that's not so easy as a right-handed batter. And another ball. There's some players, for whatever reasons, they seem to just face a slew of right-handed pitchers, and their comfort level increased so much that they'd actually prefer to face that same side thrower in a tough situation. And a pitch. Good job to fight that one off. Yeah, most guys struggle against the same side, whether it's left on left or right on right. And this guy's an exception. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One out in second. Adam Duvall at the plate. One down, base is empty. One ball, two strikes. And yeah, they'll do it again. Here's a one two. Ball. Good purpose pitch right there. Trying to tease him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up, and make it an easy out. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two away. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Ball, no. Off the mark there, and a count is three and one. Second inning here, no score. Fastball for a strike. Full count. In the air, out towards left center. Profar settles under it, makes the grab, and that is that. We'll go to the bottom of the second, no score.
And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom half of inning number two. Here's Donovan Solano. Sale delivers. Swing and he breaks his back. Olsen takes it himself and quickly won away in the second. Here's the center fielder, Jackson Merrill. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. Wouldn't chase that time. Joe McDonald, our umpire behind the dish. Yeah, Boog, Joey Mack. Sometimes a little tough to figure out. We may see some hitters and pitchers asking him where a pitch was here or there, but most of the time he keeps it reasonable. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Two way down. Got the pitch that he wanted just a little bit quick. Front shoulder open. Backside collapsed a little bit, and the launch angle not where he needed it to be. Ha Sung Kim, the next up for the Padres. And sale deals. Ripped to short. And he beats it. That's a hit. Great try there. Well, that's one of those where you just have to tip your cap because he couldn't have played that one any better. He stood no chance with the speed running down the line. David Peralta at the play. Snap throw to first. And he's back in safely. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. Bottom half of inning number two. Runner on the go. Strike in there. Safe in second, and that was not close. Well, we all know this team is struggling right now, and sometimes you just got to do something different to generate some offense. A little more aggressive right there to put the pressure on the opponent. We'll see if it pays off on the scoreboard for this team. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Padres leave one. We'll move to the third with no score. And we're back. Top half of the third inning. Now in for the Braves, Sean Murphy. Murphy. The 1-1. One -one. And strike two. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. This to center field. Merrill falls it in, and there's one away. Here's Orlando Arcia. One one now. That one missed. One out, base is empty. Next offered in there for a strike. And now two and two. I think he was sitting off speed there. Swings through it and that's a strikeout. Well, that right there is just a pitcher's pitch, tailing away from the hitter, rolling away with some good action at the end. You know, even if he gets the bat to that ball, it's probably just a weak ground ball to the opposite side. Tell you what, that's a tremendous two-strike pitch. Here's Jared Kelnick. Here's a 1-1. One -one. Love how Woo. vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind, as to the conviction in the call. Top of the third, no score. And that one almost got him.
just the off the outside part of the plate. Really good Pull take, down. especially with two strikes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. And the Braves go down quietly. Still no score. As we go to the last of the third. Stepping in for San Diego, Kyle Higashioka. Late that time, and it's strike two. One ball, two strikes. And here it comes. That's Close, but call the ball. Two, two ball. and two. two and now a little barking back towards the umpire. Clearly thought he got that outside corner on. What was a pretty big pitch. Sometimes that only makes it worse for you moving forward, but it can also open up that location in the future ball. if the umpire thinks there's a chance that he missed it. Ground to third. Throw on to Olsen. Out. He made the pitcher earn that out after a long at bat. So the lineup flips over. Luis arrives. The next up for the Padres. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. Foul ball there. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball. And I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location. He found a way to just get it by him. Now batting jerks and Profar. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Under it. Hauls it in to end the inning. On to the fourth, still scoreless. As we go to the top of the fourth, here is Ozzy Albies up to hit. Ozzie Albies. 2 2 now. Ball. And another ball. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. And the righty deals. The 3 2 ball. is Perfect. off the outside edge, and that is ball four. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. Go ahead, run on base. Austin Riley, next up for the Braves. Albies on the move. Swing and a miss. Throw to second, he's safe. Well, a nice lead and a nice steal there to get into scoring position with the heart of the order at the plate. That might just lead them to pitching around these hitters a little more because of the open base, but it's early in this ballgame. Can't imagine it'll change the attack plan too much. Man at second. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Matt Olson up to the plate. Oh, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. Three. Swings through that one. Two, two. And another ball. And 
a ground ball to first. And he handles it himself for the out. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go-ahead run. It's not a knock, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bat. Marcelo Zuna next up for the Braves. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. Back here in San Diego, now it's the second baseman, Jake Cronenworth. Second baseman. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. That one down the line, and that's just foul. He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. Arcia whips it to first, and one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. The third baseman, number 13. Now Machado up here. Still two and two after the foul ball. All tied up. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. And another ball. Swings and misses, struck him out. Oh, Boog, I'll tell you, when he goes to look at the video of that pitch, he's going to want to punch himself. That slider had hit me written all over it, and clearly he just got a little too excited and was out in front. Tell you what, when you get a pitch like that, you cannot miss it. Those have a chance to go a long way. Donovan Solano digs in now. Swing and a foul, pushed off to the right. The one, two. Out there to center. Kelman in position. He's got it. And that is that. Through four, still tied. Zip, zip. And welcome back to the ballpark. We go to the top of the fifth. So now to the plate for Atlanta, Adam Duvall. That one clips the outside corner. That's strike two. Activity in the bullpen for San Diego. Adrian Morahone appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Hard hit left side. Kim with the throw to first. One away here in the fifth. Up next for Atlanta. The left fielder. Eddie. Here's Eddie Rosario. The 1-1. One -one. And that one missing low. Here's a 2-2. Two -two. The punch out there picks up strikeout number seven. Here's Sean Murphy. Two out, space is empty. Ground ball right side. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly, but they get the out at first, and that'll do it for the inning. 
Down in order go the Braves. And we're still knotted at zero. Back here at Petco Park. And now the center fielder, Jackson Merrill. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. That one misses, so a leadoff walk. So digging in now for San Diego, Hassan Kim. Nobody out, runner at first. The shortstop takes the ball. Close pitch there, and he's kind of wondering where it missed. You know, getting a feel for each umpire strike zone is something that pitchers and hitters really have to think about and work on from game to game, and sometimes from a bat to a bat. At the belt and fires. That one catches the zone, and the count is two and two. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. That one is absolutely belted on its way. And it bangs off the foul pole. Home run. His 11th of the year, it's 2-0. Listen to these fans. This place is absolutely buzzing right now. You can feel the energy all the way up here in our broadcast booth. Well, he really crushed that thing down the line, and everyone had to hold their breath until it clanked off the pole. And every time that happens, it just kind of feels like a trip shot or something. But really, it's just a stroke of luck that it stays fair long enough. Next for the Padres, David Peralta popped up first base side. Murphy hauls it in for the out. One away. Now batting, catcher, Kyle Higashioka. Kyle Higashioka, the next up for the Padres. Still only one out here in the inning. You know, the first manager to ever win a game here at Petco Park was Tony Gwynn. Yes, Tony Gwynn. They had a college baseball tournament here in March 2004, and Tony managed San Diego State to a win. And okay. another ball. Outside, and that is ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. So the San Diego batting order turns over. Luis Arias, the next up for the Padres. Right through there for a strike. Two runs across in the inning. Last half of inning number five. That's towards center. Kelman grabs it on the run. Here's the switch hitting left fielder Jerickson Profar. Two outs. Fastball for a strike. down looking two across on this San Diego homer and it's two zip
And we're back. Start of the six, John Shambi with Chris Singleton. And leading off, Orlando Arcia. And there's no. a ball. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. And that should be extra bases. And that's going to roll to the wall. Oh, the throw is over his head. Around second now, going for three. Tag, got him. Aggressive base running there, trying to take advantage of the defense, but he's out at third. Really nice job of hitting right there, but you've got to be a better base runner than that and understand the situation. With nobody out, you've got to be able to shut it down, stay at second, keep yourself in scoring position instead of killing a potential rally. Back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup. Now the leadoff spot. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there, on its way, gone. A massive home run. And they're on the board. It's 2-1. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient and waited for it. It was like BP all over again. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Number 36 is done, and he leaves in a one-run game. New pitcher coming on. We'll be back in a minute. So out of the pen comes the right-hander, Jeremiah Estrada. Big swing and miss stuff right here, Boog. Averaging more than one strikeout per inning this season. So far, he's been pretty electric. And next for Atlanta, Ozzie Albies. One down, base is empty. And that's outside. Ball two. One out, base is empty, and a run in. And we're at the top half of the sixth. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. And the pitch. On the ground, the first. The flip to the pitcher He's covering. Out. And Albies is retired. Here's the third baseman, Austin Riley. The pitch. Fouls one off. Two and two. And that skips in the dirt. Double barreled action in the bullpen for San Diego. Adrian Morahone up and throwing. De Los Santos also throwing. That one to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. But not before they answer back with a solo home run. And this is now a 2-1 ball game. You're dialed into the show. Back here in San Diego. Now here's Jake Cronenworth. 
the lefty closing in on 100 pitches. Here's a 1 1. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict baseball. That one misses, and it's two and two. Struck him out looking with the off speed stuff. It's almost like he's telling the guys in the bullpen, stand down, I got this. Manny Machado. And now it's Manny Machado. Kicks and deals. And Manny gets a piece. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup and two away now. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. And that one upstairs. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Two down, nobody on. Bounce to third, Riley. Tosses across the first. Three up, three down, inning over. Nothing doing there for the Friars as they're unable to add to their 2-1 lead. We go to the top of the seventh, and now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. Looking to get the tying run on base. That one pulled foul. swinging and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh a big first out here in the seventh via the punch out yeah it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this when you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this so a strikeout really puts them on their heels so here's the Braves designated hitter Marcelo Zuna and Good another one. ball Trying to hold a one-run lead here in the top half of inning number seven. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. Well, when those hitters count, sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. One down, base is empty. Wouldn't oh, chase yeah. that time. Out towards left center. Profar has a beat on it. And there's two down. The right Adam Duvall next up for the Braves. Two outs. Swing and a miss, struck him out. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Braves go down quickly here, and our score remains 2 1. Aaron Bummer gets the call from the pen. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of now him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Here's the center fielder, Jackson Merrill. The center fielder. Bomber deals. And another ball.
the pitch. Right down the chute, and that's strike two. On the ground to first, and he grabs it foul. The pitch. And that's off the inside edge. And now three and two. Left hand batter waits. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And there's one away. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically no likes to no shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. Now it's the shortstop, Ha Sung Kim. Can't forget the two run shot he launched out of here in the fifth. Yeah, one of the biggest swings of the game, Boog, as he looks to make even more of an impact in this at bat right here. Base is empty, one away. Here at the bottom of the seven. That uh -huh. clips the corner. Right back to him on the mound. Two up, two down. That's an out. The batter, the right fielder, David. Oh, Two oh, outs, wow. bases empty. David Peralta, the next up for the Padres. Two down, nobody on. Up the middle. Albies over to first in time. Padres go down one, two, three. Padres go down quietly, but they still lead it two to one. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Steven Kolick. And he's been hit pretty hard at times this year, so he's looking for better. Right now, giving up more than a hit per inning. Well, one run game. Now the left fielder, Eddie Rosario. Eddie Rosario. Swings through that one out in front that time. Action in the pen down there. Robert Suarez, the anchor of the staff, is getting ready to close this one out. Peralta, the power lefty, up as well. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Pretty good strikeout right there to start this eighth inning. Down one. Any leadoff base runner really makes this inning a bit more interesting. But now this offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just try to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate. So here's Murphy now. The 1-1. One -one. And that one fouled off. The line to kick the pitch. Not even close there. And it's two and two. Holding on to a one run lead. And we're in the top of the eighth. Got it! And now two gone. Very strong coming out of the pen so far as he punches out the first two batters he's faced in this one. Getting straight to work. Man, it's talked about a lot, but relievers are just so electric these days. He's doing fun at bats if you're a hitter. I'm so glad I'm retired. And here is Orlando Arcia. Two outs. And strike two. Well, no signs of wavering on the mound here in the eighth. He's looking rock solid so far. Just misses. Yeah, that's ball two. It's a good take. And a swing and a miss. And it's a one, two, three inning for the Braves. And the Braves go down quietly. And they trail it here, two to one. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Ronaldo Lopez. Just trying to keep this one close here. And this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. 
Stepping in for San Diego, Kyle Higashioka. The catcher, Kyle Higashioka. The one two. That well, one two. missed. To the right side. He'll do it himself. He's one out. up, one down. The designated hitter, number four, Luis Arias. Back to the top of the lineup, Luis Arias will hit next. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of yeah. different from the players that we see day in, day out. The one, two. And there's a ball. That's oh, off the mark, and that's ball three. Movement in the bullpen. Pierce Johnson getting ready to come in for manager Brian Snicker. One down, base is empty. In the air, right field. Duvall settles under this one, makes the grab, and there's two gone. The left fielder, number 10. Rofar climbs in on that left Rofar. side. Two down, nobody on. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Righty to the plate. Oh. And another ball. And it's a three up, three down inning. Padres down in order. They lead it 2 1. Closer, Robert Suarez. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Right-handed reliever. Swings and misses. And it's one and two. That one missed. Now fly ball to right center. Peralta sizes this one up. Brings it in. And there's one down. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Swings through that one for strike two. Well, so many hard-throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that hitters have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to it. Just pumping gas out of the bullpen. So hard to play catch-up. Cronenworth throws on to first, and they're down to their last out. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. At the play, Austin Riley. 
Two down, nobody on. There's a strike. This could end it. Got it in, and that's the ball game. Kind of a strange win, only three hits, so they definitely weren't fired on all cylinders there. Great pitching, really kept them in it and gave them a chance. And your final score here today, 2-1 for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.